So Thor Heard and Norman Wisdom, a couple of old pros, worked together since the early 50s. They'd been in a film together. Um, and so they knew behind the scenes of a film what was going on and the sorts of things we never get to hear about. Listen to this story from Thor Heard about her and Norman Wisdom. As I'm 86 now, I've been in the business longer than anybody here, haven't I? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, no, no. But the, point is, the point is that you can listen to a line that somebody else says, and of course you're not going to have the cheek to say to a star. You could get a lot more out of that line. But we were friends, weren't we, Norm? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Joan, jo Joan Ingram, in that very thing you're selling now, was playing the matron at an orphanage. And uh, the orphans are going to Brighton for the day out. And uh, I've got to admit, Norman with the little cap turned up, he gets ready with the orphans. And suddenly Joan, who was about six feet six, wasn't she? She said, yes. oh, Norman, why would away you can so-and-so? Which told the audience he wasn't going. You've got me. And Norman's reply was, I'm not going then. Very sad, you see. Well, I must say, I love him dearly, and he knows we've been friends for years, but he said it like a fish and two. <laughs> it is, it, I mean, these are lovely lines of I'm not going then. And you knew that the entire city was going to say, hello. <laughs> <laughs> but he did, he said it like a fish and a penneth. <laughs> and he did it, and they shot it, they shot it, and I was standing on the set, and we, I spent a lot of time together, didn't we, Norman? Don't tell them, but we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the point was, I thought, what a waste. You see, so when he came off the set, he said something to me, and I can't really remember all that time ago, but I did say, and I'm not a clever dick, and, and I would never tell anybody how to do anything, but the point was, I said, that's the best line in this film, Norman. And he said, is it? Little cap turned up. And I said, and you said it like a fish in a penneth. He said, did I? No offence, no offence. And I said, it's the, you see, you, it wants to be on the arm. I'm not going then. Everybody else is going, but I'm not, you see. I said, and the whole cinema will go, no. So I heard him say to the director, can we do it again? And he did it. Can you remember that wisdom? Yes, yes. No charge. <laughs> no charge. I charged him for nothing <laughs> for the best line in the film. And, and I must admit that when the film came out, he said, I'm not going then. And you heard, oh. <laughs> so if, uh, if you wish to make amends in any way, go <laughs> on. So that's the Albanian ambassador who came over to pay tribute to Norman. Wonderful. Of course, because his films were very popular yeah. in Albania in the mm -hmm. 60s, mm -hmm. they couldn't show much violence. They yeah. didn't want to show James Bond because it was a bit decadent. And so it tended to be comedies. And it was Norman Wisdom's comedies. So he became inadvertently and unexpectedly yeah. Yeah. a huge star and in Albania. A hero, though, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, was. I'm just going to tell you a, a bit about myself now. I was born, and this is serious, I was born in very sorry circumstances. Both of my parents were very sorry. <laughs> I, no, I was, I, was, I, I was born in London, went to school in Scotland. <laughs> I used to be dead tired when I got home at night. <laughs> um, and I, I, I did have a tough childhood, I really did, but I was lucky in one respect. At least I, I became my teacher's pet. <laughs> she couldn't afford a dog. <laughs> and... I, I never, I never knew why my parents didn't love me. Never knew. Now, it, it wasn't because I was ugly. Well, I don't think so. And of course, you know, I wouldn't claim that I was pretty, but you know, sort of just in between, pretty ugly. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, and well, I, I used to, well, well, I, 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 I've been told that that. My mother used to be so embarrassed when she took me out, she, she had shutters fitted to the pram. <laughs> so, well, I've, actually, I've written a, a little a country and western, but we, we haven't got any music, so I'll sing it without the music, if you don't mind rapping it. It didn't take much to get Norman to, to sing. Uh, you just had to ask him, and it came from him deep inside. 
and here he's singing without an orchestra, without too much of a prompt, at the end of a long day. He's 82, but he's got an audience there. And once again, he wins them all over. Just, just watch this. Then hey presto, there's a change. You begin to feel proud because you've chosen a partner and you're out of the crowd. Now you hold hands gently to show that you care. And with a shy little kiss, you start an affair. Now the first time I fell in love Could only be classed as superb The second affair was also quite nice But the one I liked best was the third <laughs> Although four I was sure would be top of the list It was beaten by five, six and seven And when eight was perfection With all that I wished Number nine must have dropped in from heaven <laughs> And as the list grew bigger, it became just a habit. Any chance of a date, it couldn't wait, I'd just grab it. So I made up my mind to be much more fastidious and try to avoid all the ones that were hideous. <laughs> then later my age was reaching the stage where the choice had to be more elastic. They were wrinkled and aging, their faces knee caging. But to get one at all was fantastic. <laughs> Then common sense showed me the way, said I mustn't be greedy no more. Settle down with one only, then never feel lonely, with a wife and some kids at the door. So I started to court an old hag, cause I knew it was time to get wed. But when, when I asked it, she said I was past it, and that made me wish I was dead. <laughs> But I'm still trying hard, and nobody's barred. So I thought that I ought just to mention that with no luck so far, whoever you are, I've got a small house and a pension. <laughs>